here in this video so we are going to create a table from another table code that is by how to like export another table code along with the data and after with that data I'll be making a new table so here uh, you can click on this and after that you can click on cloud database once you click on cloud database it will redirect over this page let's suppose I have this AA comment so I'm clicking on this this is one table so I'll be clicking on this and after that I'll be clicking on export data so once you click on this you will get some uh, a window like this so it is like automatically selected so once it is selected like click on go once you click on go uh, like you will get uh, like it, things will be exported how it is uh, how the data will look like is it will look like this so what you need to do is you need to uh, like copy this SQL code to create this is like a table AA comment this is the code for this table so what I'll be doing is I'll be copying this code and then I'll be going to the SQL and here I'll be pasting the code with table name lmn request comment this is uh, like our table name so let me execute this query so once I am executing this query a table will be created so you can see the structure of this table and again if you want to add some data whatever data uh, like a, a comment has then you have uh, like option to do, do that just do one thing just remove this replace this table name with our uh, uh, like current table name and then select the whole code whole code means till here you can select and after that you can paste it come to the sql and after that select delete and then paste the whole code over here and then click on go then here it is showing some error element comment insert into element comment here our table name is wrong request comment we have so just a minute I'll be writing this and then I'll be coming request comment here no the error is like insert in the insert like I was not copied so that's why that error came again what I'll be doing is I'll be clicking on go so here you can see 50 seven row inserted if you want to see the data then go to the browse so here you can see the data now the next step is we are coming to our application so learning mode new is the application name so what I'll be doing is I'll be creating a data store sorry uh, CDT for CDT we are going to click on data type so there are four ways we can create CDT by a uh, create from scratch duplicate existing data or create from data database date table or view or import excel but for now what we are going to do is create from database so i'll be selecting data store and then table name element so i have request comment so i'll be clicking on this then a table here what it is saying is we should have a primary key so what this one I'll be setting a prime this as a primary key and then here you can see that error went so this is table name uh, like CDT name here you can see the sort form of our project is written over here here I'll be writing the description of CDT so like what is this for CDT for table this so this is tick mark so automatically it will be stored in this data store we need to go and publish this so I'm clicking on create so it is loading so once it is created a new window will open
so here you can see uh, uh, you, you will see uh, like our CDT so here you can see CDT and here let me click on data store so here you can see uh, element request comment is already available here uh, you need to come over here and verify and publish it so now what I'm going to do is I'll be making a expression rule and we are getting data from element and get request request comment data details So you can write the description if you if you want. So I'll be creating uh, this expression, and let me create. Meanwhile, let me create a uh, this constant for the CDT. I'll be creating a constant. Const for constant, every letter should be capital. Request comment. contains cdt the cdt this is of type cdt So I'll be creating. So a constant will be created, and after that I'll be writing an expression rule. So here I'm. It is already open. So again, let me open it. So this is our uh, expression rule. So here what I'll be doing is I'll be using this, and here it is asking like there are two ways we can create select from uh, like data uh, record type or data store entry so record type i'll we will see uh, like in uh, further video now i'll be creating data store so here i'll be ty typing like data store entity element request comment the, uh, the the constant which i have created that came and after that here it is uh, like soy some data so i'll be creating this so here it is asking me uh, like uh, for uh, creating like filter so i'll be creating one let's suppose with id or anything comment id i want to uh, search it so you can test it by type uh, by uh, like entering the value and further i'll be uh, like checking this test the query so you can see uh, comment id one is coming so i'll be creating on generate query so once you click on this generate query it's a bit slow so once you click on this generate query query will be generated it's too slow from here you can uh, like create rule input also but uh, I'll be creating an uh, expression only it is taking too much time meanwhile so here you can see uh, expression is getting generated so this is our rule let's suppose I'm testing it by uh, typing and by sending a uh, comment id as one then you can see data over here and you can sort it like this then you will get like data only so you will get data like this so thank you we will meet in next video